the channel or welcome to the channel if this is your first time. I just want to share a video with you of a plan that I had with a friend that I uh, met over 25 years ago and he was living in Las Vegas, Nevada and uh, was traveling to Florida. He was moving there. And he reached out to me in a text and asked me if I would be anywhere along I-10 and could meet up with him. So I was in Quartzsite, Arizona at the time, and I did a little bit of planning, which I hate doing, <laughs> but I did it. And uh, so I planned a two-night stay, yeah, two nights, um, leaving Quartzsite, going to Apache Junction to a Harvest Host, and then Picacho Peak at, at the State Park. And then the next day, which is only an hour drive to Tucson, I would meet up with him. He uh, had, had a, was going to get a hotel there, and he invited Piglet and I to stay um, and take a shower and wash clothes and have dinner and all that good stuff. So even though it's only an hour drive from Picacho Peak to Tucson, I want to share my experience, my Apple Maps experience, <laughs> in trying to get to my destination. Um, it was very frustrating, and um, I actually kind of panicked for a while, and it's a wonder I didn't get arrested. So anyway... I'm going to show you a little bit of the green desert, and then uh, I'll show you later on what happened to me with Apple Maps. Okay, we'll see you in a bit. Pacacho Peak Campground is straight ahead, but it was only 10.30 or 11 in the morning, and we weren't sure we could check into the campground. So we decided to go see the Ostrich Ranch and kill some time. So this one is the one that's $30 a night, so Buckskin Mountain was $35 a night. I think I said the opposite the other day.
I do not recognize this place. It's I'm so green. green. It's very green. Oh my yes. gosh. Are it's you back to camp? Yes, I have a reservation for the night. What site? Uh, what's it? I didn't write it down. That's <laughs> name. Mortimer. M O R T I M O R E. Jane? Yeah. You're in B20. B20. Is there just one person? Uh, me and my puppy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. It's on the it's on the cargo box. I have so many people that tell me your license plate's gone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I had to walk around a couple times. <laughs> Just one second. They're letting us in. Yay. Thank you very much. You're all set. Let's see, where is... You've been here, right? Yeah, but I don't recall. So it's just down around the front of the mountain. So it's A, B, C or A, B, C? A, B, C. I can find it then. B's in the middle either way. That's right. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>
are tucked away in our campsite. And there's a train going by. I love the sound of trains at night. I hope, I hope one or two go by. We're leaving Gacho Peak, headed to Tucson to meet up with my friend Ian. He's invited us to use his shower in his hotel room. <laughs> and we're gonna hang out for a little bit and spend the night. And then tomorrow, I'll be headed back into New Mexico. Day. Just to give you some context about the Apple Maps debacle, Ian had texted me that morning and told me that Google Maps told him Interstate 10 was closed, but he just went to exit 263A anyway, and he found the hotel. I told him, I quit using Google Maps. I think Apple Maps is more reliable. <laughs> Apple Maps kept telling me to get off at North Casa Grande Highway, but I never saw an exit, so I just got off at the next exit, which turned out to be a plant entrance, and I was so trusting, I ended up on a bike and running path. So, <laughs> Apple Maps has taken me, it took me to a some kind of cement plant, and somehow I ended up on a Turn trail. Right onto North Casa Grande Highway. <laughs> Here. There's no way to get out. Proceed to the route. In three quarters of a mile, keep right onto North Frontage Road. Proceed to the route. Thank you. 
<laughs> driving around on a trail in a gigantic van. It's a couple miles. Turn right nice onto North Casa Grande Highway. Yeah, no, you can't do that because there's red construction going on. So I'm going to go back out the way I came in. <laughs> that park ranger thought I was a mess. And there was an ambulance behind him. Turn right onto North Casa Grande Highway. Yeah. Going right back past the plant. At the stop sign, turn left onto West Orange Grove Road. In half a mile, turn right onto North Frontage Road. Apple Maps, you do not have a clue. Well, I finally met at the hotel, washed some clothes, took a shower. And had a safe place for Piglet to stay. And I met up my own, with my old pal Ian. Mm -hmm.